Hello AACPS staff. In this video, we're going to see how you can access existing media that you have created and uploaded to your Wii video. So we're going to get to know some of the menu options across the top. So right now I'm selected on dashboard and this is where you land every time you enter the Wii video application. Across the top I've got that option to create a new edit or blank, but underneath, just as we expect in a lot of the programs that we use, you have a recent edit area. So everything that I have created or that has been shared with me in WeVideo recently is right here and I have the option to delete it if I no longer need this project. I can rename it or I can go right back into editing it by clicking on it there. However, if it's not a project that I've been working on recently, then I need to look someplace else to find it. Another option is my projects area. Now if you remember in the very first video in these uh, WeVideo tutorial series, we talked about projects as being your folders for this. So if I go into a particular folder, I can see all of the videos that I have saved into that folder, and then I can select on one and double click in order to get right back into the editing mode and continue working on this. The next option in my menu up there is my media. Every piece of media that you upload to WeVideo or that you record in WeVideo is here. So as I scroll through this, you'll find all of those clips that I have created at any time using this, and you can see how the media area can get quite substantial at some point in the future, but it means that I have access to all of my stuff so any future projects could incorporate uh, components of other projects that I have done previously. And then finally, we come to our exports area. So every video that I have ever finished in WeVideo is here in my exports. If I double click on it from here, it does not take me into the editing option. What it takes me into are some additional options that we haven't seen so far in WeVideo. Things like the option to share to Google Classroom, the option to edit the name or description of this, to change the thumbnail, even to unlock the video so that it's no longer set to private. If I want to share a video from WeVideo, you can now see that unlocked. And now I have the option down here to post my video to uh, social sites, as well as just to get a link to share. Then we have the option to add it to a gallery, to download it, and even to trash this uh, video project if I no longer need it. So some of the things that you may have expected to find in WeVideo, like the ability to download a video or easily share it with students through a platform like Google Classroom, are not in the immediate export area, but after you export or finish the project the first time, when you double click on it from your exports, you'll see these options come up here in this menu. So one more option for where we can find our videos, and that is, if you choose to save a video to your Google Drive or your OneDrive during that finish and export process, I want to show you how you can find those videos again in the future. So up here at the top, I have my Google Drive open as well. And the first time that you tell WeVideo to export a file uh, to your Google Drive or your OneDrive, what it will create in your drive for you is a folder called WeVideo. And then every video that you export to that drive from WeVideo will save directly to that folder. So in this folder, you'll see I have a lot of different video files, and all of them are video projects that I created in WeVideo. So I hope this short video has helped you know how to find all of your existing uh, projects, videos, and creations in your WeVideo.